Yo, yo, what's good with you, gang, gang? I got um, another message for you guys today. This is something that was actually... They were already telling me about this. I've already pu I've pulled some cards, but they were already telling me about this. There's someone in the collective that's got a date coming up. Okay, this doesn't resonate for me, but I can feel someone's guides really want to get this message through. So I feel like this is for someone who's been trying to manifest love. All right. I got a little tip. Now, if you are a male or you are a... Um, if or you are a woman that likes women, let's just say it like that. Um, there is a, there is a frequency on Spotify, and it's by who they're called the Sacred Cosmos, and there's a frequency they have that's called Find the Perfect Girlfriend. I highly recommend you check that frequency out. It might help you with what you're trying to manifest, okay? Because um, I feel like you have some kind of reservations that are already in place. There's You feel like your wish is coming true with somebody, all right? Um, but at the same freaking time... No. You're about to encounter whoever... You, <laughs> This is not to fear monger. I'm really just being obedient to what the guides are telling me to do today. So this is what you need to know. This date that you have coming up, all right, this person that you are about to go on a date with, you have reservations with them. You may want to pamper them. You may want to take them out. Um, this is someone who's actually, they're a commitment phobic, okay? And they're also a witch or a warlock. So though it may feel at this point in time that like one of your wishes is getting tr coming true and this is the one for you and all of that it's this is a bit of a warning because this person is actually really um like afraid i'm getting they're probably going to end up rejecting you and cutting contact with you um and this is not to bust nobody's bubble okay <laughs> uh but I'm seeing that, yeah, this person will have feelings for you. They will develop feelings for you, but they're not going to confess them, all right? They'd actually prefer to just run away from you because they're very afraid of, like, feeling. They're very afraid of, you know, um, love, all right? And this this is some form of help. This is, a, this is a major heads up for somebody. Maybe you got a date book for tomorrow. Maybe you got a date book for next week. It could be in a couple of weeks. You let me know. Um, I'll try to pull a couple of the zodiac signs, but this is a spiritual war that you're in, okay? This is why your ancestors are coming through today, okay? Because, like, I don't know, you, you may be feeling like, oh, the genie, do you just rub the genie and you've met the perfect person and they, they look good, they, they smell good, they talk good and all that, but this person is, like, very, very, very afraid of love. They're very afraid of feelings and they're not, the, they're not what you think they are. Um, and they could also attempt to manipulate your energy, Okay, so they may try to block you, run away from you, you know, get you in this freaking karmic cycle that you just don't want to be in. So this is a major, major heads up for you. I'm going to pull a couple of um, Zodiac. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is so afraid. They are so afraid. They're almost going to be threatened by your your generosity, you making reservations with them, they're almost going to be threatened by you pursuing them, okay, like, what in the, uh, very avoidant, they could have an avoidant attachment style, and your guides are bringing this message to, the, to you today so that you don't get blocked by this, this situation, okay, they want you to have this tea before you go, even if you do decide to go on the date or not, okay, there's Capricorn energy, Libra energy here so far, heavy Libra energy, so this could be in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or in theirs, heavy Libra energy, there's also Aquarius, we've got Libra three times, Aquarius, and Leo, and Libra again, all right, so you're fucking with the Libras, gang, all right, I actually saw a video on TikTok, and it said, someone was asking Alexa, who is the best zodiac sign, and why, and, and she said Libras, <laughs> because they come in your life and they upgrade your life and they they are the most savage at cutting people off when they're done with them enjoy every moment you have with a libra because one day you will be blocked by them so <laughs> some of you maybe this person you're about to go on a date with is a libra or has libra in their chart or that could be you all right 
There's also Taurus, Aries, and Cancer energy. So I'm going to leave that there um, for the signs. So let me get some tarot on this and see what's the geo. So this is someone who, who is a great communicator. This person you're going on a date with, you may already know them, you may already have met them. This may be like a second date, third date, fifth date, right? It's it's like you you want to grant this person wishes. You want to you want to give them things. You want to treat them the right way, but they don't want you to invest your energy into someone that's just going to end up manipulating you in the end, right? Because they don't know any. They don't know any better. This is someone really, really afraid of love, okay? I am seeing they told me you're texting this person. You're, 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 yeah, you got a text thread with this person that's <clears throat> going on. But you may notice that they... Um, you may already be picking up that this person has some kind of trust issues, okay? Just, just by the way that they communicate, and they are. They're, they're very much so trapped in like a mental prison of their own. Um... Like, this person could just block you out of the blue. And this is why you're getting this heads up. They'd rather block you than confess their feelings to you. Right? This is what's coming up in the future. But they are very attracted to you. So I'm saying they're, they're attracted. So why is Witch and Warlock out here? Can you clarify? This is some kind of spiritual war. This person may have entities on them that are sent to distract you. All right? You need to get your freaking samurai sword the fuck out. All right? Because you may be dreaming about this person. You may have had a lucid dream lately. Okay, it's a sign. I told you, you need your freaking samurai sword out. All right, because you're a light worker. You mean good with this person. There's a high IQ, high EQ. You have high emotional intelligence. Um, <clears throat> and you're going to be able to spot that this person is fake as fuck. Okay, they're very fake. They may, express, they may show, you know, attraction to you. Uh, but it's all a plot. It's like a plan. Right? What is this person's plan? It's to get things going with you, okay, and then put you in, they, they could put you in a third party situation too, all right? This person may have a few different people orbiting around them because of their fear of, you know, their commitment phobia. Um, they're going to, like it's like ooh, it's like push forward right it's like get things going everything's smooth sailing and then boom and then they they become very like cold and detached and like they got these boundaries up and, and like ain't nothing wrong with anybody having boundaries but the reason that the person's gonna have the boundaries up is because <laughs> there's a third party situation three cups coming out in reverse that's third party there's someone else around this person all right so you're going to have a choice to make. I feel like whoever you are, you are a provider. You are someone who, this feels like it's for a masculine. <clears throat> um, you are a provider. You love to give. You love to, you know, support people. This is where that Libra energy is coming from. You also may have heavy Aries energy, um, heavy Taurus energy. All right, but they're actually saying you need to kind of conceal your, your emotions with this person, conceal conceal things because look gang like this person is actually coming between you and your queen you, they're coming between you and your divine counterpart whoever they are they may be a water sign it doesn't matter whoever they are they they're gonna they're gonna get you on standby this is what this is what you'll see is gonna end up playing they're gonna kind of pull back their energy have you on standby and it may cause an interference between you and your true counterpart right or someone that's perfect for you that you're trying to manifest so like i'm saying go check out this co sacred cosmos frequency um <laughs> use it with caution because you will meet the perfect girlfriend you will meet the perfect person they will match your energy in ways that you will blow your mind and yeah, you will get a commitment out of them, what you're looking for, okay? And that's someone that's going to be worth investing into. This is the kind of person that would be with you no matter what you're going through. Um, they will complement your energy perfectly. If you listen to this frequency, I'm telling you, try, they got, check out the Sacred Cosmos on Spotify. They got so many different frequencies. I remember I was listening to them last year and they, they changed my life. And remember that, you know, before words, it, it was just frequency, right? So... Our body and our, our energy field, it responds really well to frequency. Um, it's like medicine for us. So consider this divine intervention from the angels so that you don't end up. This is a, 
This is divine intervention from the angels so that you don't end up weighing up pros and cons about this situation, live, having this person live in your head rent free, you know, freaking juggling them, wondering like what's going on, why they're pulling back, why they're coming in, why they're pulling back, you know. Um, they want your emotions to be stable because they're bringing someone in for you, okay? They're bringing in a, an empress for you. And on top of that, this person you're about to go on a date with or that you're currently trying to pursue. This is the thing, like, it, they're telling me they're bringing in the counterfeit before they bring in the real thing. This person could try to present like the empress, right? You know, I, I don't chase, I attract. They'll try to magnetize you toward them. But this is actually someone who could end up getting very, very um, envious of you, jealous of you. It's giving narcissistic, I hate to say it. And they're going to be very dismissive of your feelings, very dismissive of, you know, your essence. That It's not the right person for you, okay? Yeah, and they're going to put, put you in a freaking state of hypnosis. I cannot. And on top of that, the motherfucker could end up stalking you, right? And wanting to destroy you. Wanting to destroy your heart, your beautiful heart that's being prepared for something else, okay? You are divinely protected. That's why you're seeing this message. It's not for everyone. Don't force it to fit. I'm going to keep it short, sweet, and snappy. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you all so much. Peace. And stay safe, all right?